Good Thursday morning. Taking a live view from our Biscayne Bay camera in Miami right now. Very quiet and calm and dry. And later on, we'll see the storms developing again. So make sure you grab your umbrella as you're headed out the door. Key West right now, a mix of sun and clouds. And wow, look at the sunrise, courtesy of our weather watcher, Michelle of Fort Lauderdale. That is just stunning and breathtaking. Here is a mix of sun and clouds. You can see those storms off in the distance, courtesy of Deborah of Fort Lauderdale and Bridget of Biscayne Bay also sharing the view. Thanks to Sandra Keybooth for also sending this sunrise view from Lauderdale by the sea. We are dry here, but the storms are over the Bahamas. Winds are fairly calm or light, and it already is a warm, muggy start. High soaring to the low 90s, and it's going to feel like the hundreds when you factor in the humidity, and then the storms will be developing. There could be some heavy downpours, just like yesterday. Future radar showing us we do have that west southwesterly steering flow, and so the storms will develop over the Everglades and then march eastward over our area around lunchtime, but especially 2, 3 p.m. And then the heaviest rain, the models are forecasting around the rush hour between 5 and 7 p.m. Then we should start to see conditions gradually improve, especially by late tonight. In the meantime, though, a heads up today, some of the storms could turn strong with some heavy downpours, the potential for localized flooding, lightning and gusty winds. There is only a low risk of rip currents, but if you were planning on heading to the beach, the morning is your best bet right now. In fact, the first half of the day, because we are going to see the potential for storms this afternoon and highs around 90 degrees. The UV index is extreme, so keep that in mind if you're going to be out and about in the sun, which we should see some sun to start the day. Boaters wind south southeast 5 to 10 knots, east 1 to 2, a light chop on the bays. Tonight evening storms warm and muggy 78 and it's tranquil in the tropics in the Gulf and the Caribbean in the Atlantic cyclone development is not expected in the next two to five days. Part of the reason is that there is that dusty Saharan air and big plume of that moving across the Atlantic. So that's really helping to keep everything in check in terms of the tropics. But we're going to see the potential for some of that dusty Saharan air to move into our area heading into tomorrow and Saturday. So that could lead to not only hazy skies, but also lower air quality. If you have any respiratory issues, keep that in mind but also the dusty Saharan air helps to inhibit any significant development of the waves that we've been watching in the Atlantic. But tomorrow, more of the same, 93 degrees, leading to some afternoon storms. And then the weekend, at least due to that Saharan air and drier air, that'll lower rain chance a little bit. We'll see just spotty storms Saturday into Sunday, 